you did say in uh, an interview with Robert Tracy for his book uh, Balanchine's Ballerinas. This uh, was he probably interviewed you in 1982. You said, um, "I sometimes wonder how much uh, better dancers can get," and that that you were really um, both admiring them, but also wondering if there was so much concentration on their technical prowess that they were losing something of the nuance of performance. Could you talk a little bit about that? Well, the nature of our profession requires a high level of technique if you want to be professional. And um, because it's complicated and important to get into the body, we tend to focus on that. Most dancers work from their waist on down and get the technical aspect, the legs, the turnout, the brilliance, the jump, whatever because that's comfortable to them. That's, that's what you know, we think dance is, and of course there's so much more to dance than just that, but they work from their legs on down, and then, then when they've got that over with, they, they work from the waist on up and decide what they're gonna do you know, with the rest of themselves. And I always say, you know, you don't just send your legs out on stage in the performance, <laughs> you know, you, 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 you have to, you know, everything has to go out there. And, uh, Mr. Balanchine had an interesting concept that rather than divide yourself the lower half and the top half, he divided you a right side and a left side, and you always had your, your head, you know, so you never lost face. You always were your own, own identity. And uh, it, it's a very comforting and very interesting concept, I think. Also, you, the our body is our instrument and you don't want to have to rehearse unnecessarily because you're using up your instrument you know if you have a an elastic and you keep doing this it's going to lose its elasticity so you you want to make sure and i think it's one reason why mr balanchine had ballets that made us move fast taught us to move fast is that it opened up a whole world of music that he could choreograph to if we could move very, very fast and very, very slow. And it makes your world so much bigger. If you only move a little fast and a little slow, you've narrowed your musical range that you can do and, um, and, and, and your, your life, you know. So I, I think he wanted us to move fast so we could process information quickly so that you didn't use up your instrument in an unprofitable way. You could get it the first or second time and preserve yourself as, a, as an instrument that way. And when you think about it, as you get older and professional, the first thing that goes is technique. You know, so, you, so I tell my students, you want to be fascinating before you've even done anything. <laughs> you know, some people enter a party and enter a room and they just, you know, they take over and they just, you know, you can't take your eyes off of them. And then some people, you're at the door and you say, oh, were you here? Were you here at the party? You know, so you have to, when you enter, it has to be, you have to already be fascinating before you even added the technical icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. 